Hello and welcome to a new player review. So we have team two of the, the shapeshifters, uh, less players, but um, I think way better players. Uh, all of them are gonna be um, very sought after. Uh, that's why their prices are gonna be uh, sky high for the first few hours. I wanted to do a review on a couple of them, but uh, their prices are not for buying at the moment. You should stay away because a lot of them will drop uh, way, way down. Uh, these initial prices are nowhere near uh, what they're worth. So um, instead of that, I had a second look at Zachariah. The first look uh, I gave him, I didn't think it was something worthwhile. Uh, but also because we just had this Akanji, so it didn't look like something I'd be interested in. At that price, it needs an 85 and an 86, so we're talking just a bit under 200k to complete this SPC. Uh, on a second look though, uh, he is a strong link to Akanji and he's a strong link to this liner um, that we have. So uh, his stats look really, really good. Um, they look uh, like really high. Uh, the other player that I want to try was that Alaba um, that's in packs, uh, but he looks really close in stats, uh, in terms of total stats and in-game stats, it looks really close to um, this Zachariah. So instead, I thought I'd just get this guy. I had also some untradeables I could complete him in and also get this strong link here. So let's go and have a look. This guy started as a 77, I think, or a 79 uh, gold card, but he had a winter refresh to an 81. He's a CM or CDM, so his position changes to a center back to an 87 uh, rated. So we're talking about six ratings, um, not a big boost in terms of ratings, but he has about uh, 30 total stats and about 150 in-game stats. So it's a lot and it makes uh, this card uh, really nice. So he's 191, so he's about 6'3", really tall, low high, great work rates there and three stars, three stars. So everything looks great on the face stats. Uh, pace level 88 with acceleration 81 and sprint speed 92. Uh, it's the same thing that we saw with Akanji, a big differential with acceleration being behind. And uh, like I always said, I prefer it the other way around, acceleration uh, being up front of the sprint speed. So with that in mind, I went again with a shadow like I did with Kanji. So we applied the shadow and we get uh, 96 acceleration and uh, 99 sprint speed. Obviously we lose three points in sprint speed, but uh, that's fine. Uh, shooting overall 69 with almost all right attack positioning, uh, almost in the green at 69, but finishing 72 and shot power 77. But I don't think you could be scoring any goals with his uh, legs anyways. Uh, passing overall 79, uh, that he has really good passing for a center back. Uh, vision 81, crossing 72, short pass 86 and long pass 84. Curve is only the low point here at 68, but like I said, any numbers that are close to the 70, getting him in the green is fine for me, especially in these positions. So curve is something that um, might not be needed for a center back to do any curves passing there. Uh, what we'll, we definitely need is short pass, long pass, and vision, and everything's about 80, so passing looks great for me. Agility overall 83, uh, dribbling, sorry, overall 83, but agility 73 and balance 70. These are going to be the two low stats here. So agility and balance at uh, 70 and 73 are actually very good for a tall center back like this guy at 6'3". The 73 agility and 70 balance, I believe, is really good. Reactions at 83 and ball control at 88, dribbling 84 and composure 81. So his dribbling stats are fine. Um, like I said, balance and agility look uh, low, but like I said, he's gonna be a tall guy at 6'3", so I believe it's good agility. It remains to be seen how he turns and how he reacts this, uh, this card reacts in game. Uh, defending overall 86, really high with interception 87 to 97, almost maxed out. Um, defensive awareness 89 to 99, that's maxed out. Standing tackle 88 to 93 and slight tackle 83 to 98. So his defending looks exceptional here. Physical overall 90 with his highest stat here. Jumping 71 should be fine with his uh, height being at 6'3". I believe that, that should be all right. Stamina 85, really high. Strength 91 and aggression 96. So strength and aggression, fantastic. Defending, fantastic stats. Uh, good passing, good dribbling and great uh, pace. So that's why I think this looks like a really, really nice card. Also because of the strong links that he gets. It looks to be a good card. It remains to see how this card plays in game. So with that in mind, we'll go into a couple of Foot Champions games and test this card out. 
All right, so here we go with our first opponent, a nice uh, Syria Bundesliga hybrid with some nice cards in there, especially that Shoshifter Mkhitaryan is really nice. Um, Tommy Yasu, a center back, really good. So we're going to go into this game in the, I'm not sure, 4 2 3 1 formation maybe, uh, and test out uh, Shapeshifter's uh, Zachariah as a center back. Oh, gets it though, yes. Mbappe. Oof. And this is his uh, debut for me. I've not used him this card before. It was fresh. So he scores in the first game, the first three minutes. There we go. Nice, Sakuraya. Good covering there. Back. And get her. Goal. Trying to get him to go up top. Yes, good marking. Yes, came all the way back. Go, nice covering. Go, oh. get him. Nice, get him the second time. Good strength. Nice tackle. Didn't give the body the ball. Yes, a lot of tackle. Covered everything there. there. Wasn't any space to move. Yeah, Sakuraya, good strength there. Pass, nice. Goal, steal, nice shoot, and score. And he's probably gone. And he's gone. All right. So it was a Good game. Uh, this first one, uh, Zachariah with the 8.4 match rating, no contributions on goal, of course. Uh, 15 on 16 passes, 10 on 10 dribbles, uh, zero crosses, three on four tackles, really nice. And one on two interceptions where his defensive awareness was uh, on point, uh, standing where he should stand. I like his tracking back really fast to come uh, back on defense. So that was game one. Let's go into another game. All right, so here we go with our second game. Well, Bundesliga team, but it's filled with uh, all the meta players, so it is a good team with no special players, but it's going to be a good team. So this time, probably going different formation, but this time let's try the 4-4-2 flat, and we'll try shapeshifters uh, Zachariah in the center back position. Right there, Zachariah, the great header, bring it back. So, Nice, Sasserman with a shot and we score fairly early. Bring back, shoot, and we score 2 0. Oh, yes. Nice step in. Didn't even press the tackle there. But I don't know what happened there. Nice, Zachariah right with good defensive awareness there. He's marking his excellent. Go, three, two, and get her. Four, two. Nice, good, good control there. Nice, very fast. And turn, shoot. Five, two. this out. Nice, Zachariah. Again. Nice. One more. Foul? No foul. Why? There he is. There we go. Oh yes, I'm gonna get there. Come on. Shoot. No, let me shoot you. Nice. Again, Zachariah. Let's go. Get in there. Yes. Again. Yes. Shoot. Oh, what a goal. <laughs> and he can score as well. What is left? Is he lefty? I'm not sure. So that's game. And we score a goal with him as well. Um, 
excellent performance of uh, Zachariah defensively. That goal I scored was just, I wanted to test out more his agility uh, and his dribbling stats to see how um, good he feels on the ball to turn and control. Uh, so he has one goal. Uh, he has uh, that one shot. He has 10 on 10 passes, 10 on 16 dribbles, seven on seven tackles. I mean, <laughs> what can you say? 100% uh, completion with the most tackles, seven out of seven, that's fantastic. Uh, 9.4 match rating, uh, excellent performance. I really, really like him, uh, liked him on that game. Um, let's go back and have a look at this card. So we have uh, Dennis Zachariah from Gladbach, uh, Shapeshifters, uh, an SPC that, like we said, it needs an 85 and an 86. So we're talking about 200K or maybe just shy of 200K. Um, I really like this card in game. Uh, he feels really nice. Uh, I had him paired with Akanji. They're very similar, as you can see. Um, dribbling a bit, well, I would say they're similar actually, although, where is it, 78 to 83, I would say they're very similar. Agility and balance, reactions a bit higher for Akanji, uh, better ball control, dribbling, and uh, a bit better composure, but they're sort of similar. Uh, defending, um, better for Akanji obviously, but way, way more physical, and that's something that you can see in the game right away. Uh, it's a card that is, he's very fast with the shadow that we gave him. It goes to 96 acceleration, 99 sprint speed, uh, very high interceptions on 97, very good defensive awareness at 99, good standing tackle, good slide tackle, but his strength is at 91 and his aggression at 96. Parallel with his tall frame, he's at 6'3". Um, it's, it's like a, a very fast uh, rock that you're moving in game that doesn't feel stiff. He feels very quick to turn. Um, if you step in on a player, he's very quick to turn around and control and start running back uh, to uh, cover again. Um, his, his, defend, his defending was exceptional, as you saw in the second game. Seven on seven tackles won. Uh, he has very high interceptions and good standing tackle and he pairs that with his good strength, so he's really good at winning the ball. Um, he had a good shot, uh, surprisingly, at the end of the game, I was trying to uh, test his dribbling around. Uh, he feels really, really nice. He doesn't feel like a center back at all uh, when doing dribbles or when trying to avoid players like uh, ball rolls um, and uh, anything else that you want to try with him. He, he feels like a uh, midfielder, like his original position is. Uh, he has a three-star weak foot and three-star skills, which is enough to do some basic skills. But surprisingly, the goal that he scored was with his left foot, and he's a righty. So even that, surprisingly, he has low finish, finishing, obviously, uh, low shooting in general. But uh, that was quite surprising there that he scored that goal. Uh, all in all, I would say this is a great card. At the beginning, the first time I saw him, didn't really interest me. Then when I took a look at his stats, uh, which look really, really nice. Those defending, those physical, those dribbling stats, that pace really looks really nice. Uh, pair that with his uh, strong lengths. Uh, as you can see, you can get uh, uh, Linear here. Or you can actually link him with that Mbambu that is coming up uh, as a 86. If he's not come up already, right here, you get another strong link uh, with this card that everybody has. You strong link him to this storyline Akanji, which is at the end of the season. Uh, and you put another left back here, could be Soltz. Uh, if you don't have this guy and it's looking like a fantastic uh, defensive line uh, all these guys look really really nice especially the center backs they're two tall beasts uh, and very fast and very agile so i really really like this sakuraya i think at 200k it's a good price uh, if you have any of these guys that you can strongly come in or you're running a bundesliga uh, i think this is a good good uh, center back to get especially when we had that hummels which i don't really think is a good card at 150k this card at a 200k, it's a good card to complete for your team. So this is going to be it for this review. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.